Hey, fans are funny. I talked about how Quelan Farrell was a reach at number four. The Raiders could have had Devin White and still say that. But the comments that some people make make me wonder if in some cases they actually watch the video. One person said that Mayock had actually picked you know, uh, players that had character issues as free agents. That wasn't the point. The point was that Mayock made the comment about wanting to send a message to prize character in his decision to select Farrell with a fourth pick rather than either Devin White or Montez Sweat. Someone else incredulously said that Farrell is one of the top 15 defenders in the National Football League. And if you just, and they quote it Pro Football Focus, Pro Football Focus going into the 2020 season didn't even have Cleveland Farrell on their list at all. Then to double down, if you check the list of defenders that are on Google, which they which is auto sourced from various sources, auto place from various sources, Cleveland Farrell is not on that list. In fact, do you know who is? Yannick Nagoye, who the Raiders obtained their services of in free agency. In fact, that's why they re obtained his, the services of him in free agency. They needed his pass rush abilities that they weren't getting from either Farrell or Max Crosby or anyone else when you start looking at the linebacker position and not the classic defensive end position. If the Raiders had drafted Cleland Farrell, excuse me, if the Raiders had drafted Devin White instead of Cleveland Farrell, like a number of people expected them to do, including Devin White, they would have pretty much forgotten Cleo Mack by now, okay? Because Devin White's production, assuming the Raiders used him properly, which is another conversation, would have been so good that, hey, he may very well have sacked and tackled the Raiders into the playoffs. But we'll never know. Subscribe to Zenny62 and bookmark oaklandnewsnow.com.